Hello and welcome everyone, I'm CS Gilmore and this is Survivor Squad. So, it didn't take long to get to this last one, I decided to take out one area. But I'm going to do something for this episode a little different. I kind of don't have everyone quite where I want them, so I'm going to just wait a few days and have the zombies retake this area. Um, I don't think that'll actually do me any good really, but uh, because... Yeah, I'm defending it. I want this is basically what I did. I wanted to show you this before I went in and did the final mission. And I'm hoping I'll get be able to get some items out of this or something. I'm not entirely sure how defense works differently than attacking a place. So let's see. Yeah, I'm being attacked. Got my team roll ready to go already. So yeah, it looks like the place ready. is already looted. Moving. And I just have to survive I'm some going. waves. I'm going. So. Pick a building, any building that I want to haul up in to the greatest extent. Actually, it looks like I've only got one building. Cleared and looted, it says it isn't, but it is. Moving. So, yeah, basically you just set up Ready. and survive Moving. a wave of zombies. So, I'm going to yeah. put this yeah. here. On it. Yes. Defense is a little Moving. different than assault because well yeah zombies the way. and you have to defend against them hi uh Ready. meet my little friend and he mr yeah. turret you go help him because he's gonna get overrun otherwise you guys keep an eye on here in case this turret gets overrun doesn't look like it's gonna be a problem though zombies are just gonna keep coming now i'm on wave two or how many waves there are um, it might depend depending on the place it's invading, I suppose, or how many places are invading. I, I don't really don't know how they work out this system. Hello. Yeah, you guys go out here at least help. I don't want that being destroyed before my last mission. If they can be destroyed. I think they can be. I, do, I could be wrong. I mean, the zombies do, do appear to be attacking and whatnot. So there's that. Um... Give these guys secure video yes. cameras because there's the only thing I could afford. And basically, yeah. they just work as stationary eyes. So, like, see, it, it, it's a camera. It just sits there and looks around. On the way. Uh, within a certain radius, at least. So, it's a good way to if you to help you watch your back better. You know if zombies are coming down a path. I don't know if the zombies destroy them or not. I don't know if they carry over from mission to mission. But, anyway, testing out some of these things. I figured it was, it was a good thing to look into before and experience before, yeah, final mission. Doesn't look like I'll get items out of it, unfortunately. But it doesn't look like my guys will get beat up anymore either, so not really a loss. Just a matter of seeing what happens. Oh, a heart form. Was that there before? So, okay. Killed the heart. So, I'm guessing I have to go around and make sure these hearts are dead because otherwise they'll just endlessly create zombies. On the way. On it. Which would be bad for my well being. Got it. Okay. Was, there, was that heart there from the beginning? I don't know. Um. Anyway, that was interesting. I didn't hear them say anything about a heart being brought in, but maybe what, there was someone delivering it. I don't like. I don't know if the zombie carrier maybe become, could become a heart, like run in, explode, and become the heart. I'm going. I'm I don't know. Going. I think this is Moving. it. Fifth wave. I think was the last one. At least probably. I think I'm still wrapping up a few things though, so I may have spoken too soon. Reloading. It says wave 5 though, I, d I don't know how many waves are gonna go. I'm guessing only 5. 5 seems the likely wave level. Yeah, got it. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, so this guy here, he's gonna come in and become a heart. Unless I kill him. So, okay. That's why he was pointing me to him. It's going, this guy's a threat, kill it. 
become a heart, which will end up prolonging the mission and everything. This is a long last wave, looks like. Much easier to kill all the zombies. Yep, okay, so five waves. Five waves of zombies and... Yeah, the carriers come in and become hearts. So they're trying to reestablish their hold. That's very interesting. Now we're... Hmm. Yeah. Just very interesting setup all in all. Kind of a cool little thing. Not much to it though. And yeah, you don't get any items out of that. Everyone's in as good condition as they're going to be. I can't make any bandages to patch them up the last little bit of health because I'm out of cloth. Can't make any better weapons. So I guess it's time to head into New Clayton and take on the final place, the actual lab. Um, after I finish this campaign, I'll talk about this since this episode's going to be super short already. I might as well address this now instead of in the next one. Once I finish up this campaign, I may take a break from Survivor Squad for a bit, but there are definitely more thi and there are definitely more things to this game. I believe they have a second campaign now, like, or at least they have a, uh, I don't know, they definitely have other missions and like things. There's one where you have to get through a lab. And so that would be interesting, a little different to experience. Um, yeah, they've definitely got some different game modes and things to, ex to explore, new features. So I'll explore those sometime, maybe. I don't, I, sh I don't know. If I'll probably take a, excuse me. I'll probably take a break from Survivor Squad for a while after I finish this because once I finish this campaign, because um, I've got school coming up. I've got a semester of college. And that's going to be keeping me really busy, and I've got a couple other games I'm already pursuing. I've, I'm going with uh, Templar Battle Force. I've got Darkest Dungeon, and I've got uh, the Talos Principle. Both are going to be, not both, all three of which are going to be long haul recordings. So I'm going to have enough trouble keeping up where I'm at with all of those and keeping those recording while I go and so I don't really need a fourth game to be recording right at the moment I'll, but this would be nice to be able to come back to and just you know if it gets a good response maybe I'll come back and record yeah these other campaigns everything and that way I'll be able to you know bring the full experience to video to you guys in in the various episodes so this will be the so the next episode, I believe, will be the end of the ma main campaign and thus the, yeah, my current series for Survivor Squad. And then next time will be, not next time, and then eventually I'll maybe come back and address the other aspects of this game. Um, maybe a long time, may not be very long. It depends on, you know, why I feel like doing a bit, uh, whether there's a lot of, you know, interest from you guys, and, you know, just what time permits. So, yeah. Well, I think that's everything I should address here right now. Um, game's going good, though. I'm really enjoying it. It's going well. This is a challenging game, that's for sure. And all right, we got the last area. This should be different because so definitely don't miss this next episode because the last lab is a different sort of setup. There's a lot more to it. I can't remember if there's more than one level that you actually go through in the lab, like in the final mission. And I can't remember if there's a boss fight or not. I know I've done this before, once, a long time ago, um, but yeah, we're going to do this again. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to end this campaign. I'm going to win it. And so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.